Hello guys and welcome to an NGB gameplay video and review. I am Ben and today I'm joined by Kieran. Hello. Hello. I'm joined by Johnny. Hello to you. Yo. And I'm also joined by Matthew. Hi. Who's over in the corner doing his thing. Um, and this is Super Cloud Built. It's a um, nice little indie game. Uh, it's out this week, I do believe. Um, and yeah, I've been I've been sort of playing it for a bit of review. Um, it's it's all right. It's um, I, I like what it does with some of the movement. I like uh, the art style in particular. I think is, is very nice. It's very like cell shaded and, and kind of I don't want to say the word anime, but it's a little bit anime. Um, and yeah, uh, it's it's good. Like the only thing I'm not overly fond of is the control scheme is sometimes a little bit fiddly, and um, it also uses uh, R, no, it uses L1 to jump, which is a bit strange. That is crazy. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit on the weird That's side. That's the Nintendo levels of awkwardness. <laughs> Everyone knows that X is to jump. Yeah, and like the thing is with this, X is actually fall. So if you've kind of, if you've st stood on a ledge somewhere, yeah. you press X and like, so here, press X and you drop down. It's really strange. It's odd because there's something in like, all first person shooters having the same control scheme. We can pick them up and just like know how it works straight away. If people are messing with that, that's just not on. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a very strange thing to do. Um, however, yeah, there's something about this game that's, that's kind of, it, it's not, it's not going to win game of the year by any stretch, but it's, it's definitely something that uh, has got some unique things about it that I actually really like. Okay. Um, so, um, I mean, tell us what they are. I'm about to. All right then. So, I, I, <laughs> the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> so I know I just said unique things, but um, the, one of the things that I do actually quite like this. This reminds me a lot of one of my favourite games of last year, uh, which is Time Four Two. Um, the particularly like the things like the wall running and the jumping and the movement. Um, whilst it feels very, it feels very floaty. Um, you get sort of you know these. The, like double jumps like that and things, uh, you know, sort of the boost um, mechanic which was there. Mm. It's, it does feel very Titanfall and even the art style on the character um, is, is particularly kind of Titanfall-y, um, like the, the armour that you get and things like that. So the object of the game is essentially to find out what happened to you. Um, so you are the character here, I, I've completely forgotten her name. Um, but uh, you, you basically end up, um, at, oh, sorry, you start out and you don't really know what's happened. Um, you're just kind of in this weird blue shadowy state. Yeah, you look like a wireframe crazy person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, in, as a wireframe crazy person, uh, you have to kind of essentially figure out like what's gone wrong. Right. Um, you're not supposed to be a wireframe person though. No, so that's okay. the thing. Like the the first thing that uh, we saw after the wireframe bit had happened yeah. was um, kind of this like a hospital bed yeah. with your character, um, and you, you've got to figure out like why am I in a hospital bed? Like what's okay. what's gone on? Um, and the way you do that is you kind of replay these like little they're kind of like platformy puzzle levels, uh -huh. um, and you, you have you basically have to work your way through the world and, and figure out what's gone on. Um, so one thing that I do like about this is if you are struggling with a bit or if you're finding a bit, you know, like just way too difficult, um, you can actually plant your own checkpoints. Alright, okay. So, um, for example, like there, oh, I've just died. Oh, nearly. Um, if I wanted to, uh, there's no real point because of the checkpoint right there. However, we have to go to this checkpoint. So, I'd say it's a weird control scheme. It's like L1 to jump and then L2 to do the boost thing. Right. So there you go. That's a checkpoint right there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, the, the fact that you can set your own checkpoints is, is very handy. Um, and then whenever you run over these little yellow spear things, you um, you replenish your fuel, okay. which is in your, your boosting pack. So... Are there enemies to like, kill? I yeah. haven't seen anything yet. I just killed some then. Did you kill some then? Yeah. Um, so, I don't know what that is. What's that? That looks like it's... I can't shoot it. Um, so again, right, if I deploy a checkpoint here, because yeah. this is a particularly tricky bit by the looks of it. Right. Um, 
the, the wall running and stuff feels quite nice. Yeah. Um, again, similar to Titanfall, if you hit at just the right time, mm. you will get like a better boost. Um, you'll get like, you know, if you hit if you hit the uh, the wall run at precisely the right point, you'll get quite a big uh, speed boost from it, and you'll be able to propel yourself further. Okay. Um, so a bit like no, not like that. So I'll get that right up. How does running around with a jetpack help you figure out how you're in hospital for? Well, that's a story spoiler that I don't really want to give away. Okay. Is this like an alternative medicine thing? Yes, it's it's holistic therapy. Knew it. Um, it's yeah. There's an enemy. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously this is kind of this is the first full level in the game. Yeah. So it's not gonna throw everything straight at you. Right. Um, right away. Um, does it open a few more mechanics as you go along, though? Yeah, there, there's a there's a, there's a few more. Um, not it, again. There's nothing like massively game changing about it all. Okay. Um, but there's there's a few neat little ones uh, hidden away a bit later on. Sure. In the game. Um, but essentially, from uh, from I say the point that I'm at now, very near the end, um, it is mainly these kind of um, like kind of just tower levels really, where you've got to get to the top. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at the, the level around, see there, you, you start sort of way over there. Uh, started from the bottom. Now we're here, as uh, as the kids say. I believe. I don't think kids say that. that. Okay. <laughs> Well, if you're a kid and you say that, can you let me know so I can prove Johnny wrong, please? Um, Are there any collectibles or anything like that? Yes. So I don't know if you've noticed, but um, as I've been going around, there have been... Um, on each level, there are four little letters. Um, and they've popped up in the top left. Yeah, so the bo on, uh, yeah, on the bottom left, there was like the A, B, C and D. And what they are is... I think they're kind of like just little checkpoint collectibles. Oh, no, that's gone wrong. That's gone horribly wrong. Um, you can uh, essentially uh, get those as you go through the level, and you get um, extra things at the end of it, like costumes and, and skins and other things like that. So, yeah, there's a few like bits to kind of keep you coming back and replaying. Um, but overall, I think I also think my favourite thing about this is, is the art style. It looks really cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It seems to move a little bit uh, jerkily. Yes. Um, I, I had to like, turn down the sensitivity. Yeah, like, like it seems like a bit too quick for its own good. Yeah, um, I'd probably agree with you on that one. Yeah. I think um, the thing that I the thing that I found about it straight away was um, immediately went, oh, okay, this this feels a bit on the strange side. Yeah. Um, particularly when you are you're kind of hurtling through a level at, at speed. Um, I'm really struggling to figure out where I'm going here. I think it's down here. Uh, no? Okay, so I need to go back up that way. Oh, it certainly looks unique. Yes, absolutely. I can't, can't think of much of it uh, else that it resembles really. Yeah. Um, I do keep wanting to say Jet Set Radio, but I don't think it's accurate. I think it's just because it's like a bit cartoony and it's like no, I think, quick. Yeah, I think it's a fair it's a, it's a fair sort of comparison to make in terms of the art style. Yeah. Um, oh, hello. Um, and as you, you know, as you go through the levels you get to a few more weapons and, and things like that, so it's uh, it's, it's good fun. Um, I'm just trying to get to the end of the level here. Men, give me a number out of 10. I think it's fair to say that this is a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 is a good score. Um, it's, you know, like I say, it's not going to change the world. Mm. Um, it definitely does some interesting things. I need to go up there, don't I? I'm going to go up there. Um, yeah, it, it's not going to, you know... Again, it's probably not going to win Game of the Year awards everywhere, but... I, I enjoy it. I think it's uh, it's a decent little puzzle platformer, um, and I think it's yeah, it's probably worth giving it a go. Yeah, yeah. How much dollar are you talking? You know, I like to know. Price I points. knew you were going to ask me that. I always like to know how much things. And um, I should genuinely probably prep this beforehand. Um, I'll put the price on the screen. Okay. Um, it is blank ding, pounds. Ding, ding. Insert value here. Yes. <laughs> Um, so that is a very brief look and a quick review of Super Cloud Built. There we go. Switch it in this way. Um, if you like wall running, if you like kind of super uh, super futuristic robot type things, and um, you like cool crazy art styles, I mean it obviously looks a little bit but yeah, a little bit like Borderlands in some ways. Um, 
but it's yeah, I, th I think it's a, a decent little uh, decent little indie title. Yeah. First time two interviews, Johnny. <laughs> yes, I mean seven out of ten. You can't get too excited for seven out of ten, can you? Like seven out of ten is a good score, but you don't want to like overdo it for seven out of ten and like start whooping. Oh, and hello! I've just used two. I've just used two checkpoints right up next to each other, which is a uh, bit of a bit of a boo boo. Um, and then yeah, you can obviously get you know little journal entries and things like that. So um, kind of pads out the story in that way as well. Okay. Is um, it a good story? Do we know? It's all right. Yeah. It's. Um, you know, again, I don't want to get into spoiler territory, but it's um, yeah, it's, it's it's relatively satisfying in terms of you know what happened to your your protagonist. Sure. Oh no, that's gone. Ah, oh, come on. Um, but the, yeah, again, that's it's quite nice that you get like a quick instant restart. Yeah, yeah, that's um, nice. instant respawn because you know I think one of the worst things about games when you've got like quick death like this. Yes. Is is when you've got to then load a checkpoint that takes like five ten minutes. It takes longer to load it just to actually do the section and die again. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that is Super Cloud Built. It's out on the PS4 and I believe other platforms as well. Um, and yeah, check it out. Cool. Bye bye. Goodbye. I'm dead again. <laughs>